Hello everyone. Today's video is little bit technical. So if you want to skip it, you can skip it. But we get this question asked frequently on our website as well as our social media handles that what are the raw materials used for making a sanitary ware? Uh, by sanitary ware, we mean like water closets, toilets and wash basins as well as some special components such as urinals, bidets. In general, the raw material used for the manufacturing of those sanitary wares in terms of the body as well as the top surface or the glaze or color are the same. So in today's video, we are going to cover what are the main raw materials and what are their uh, specific chemistry or some kind of physical properties which are required for a manufacturing of a sanitary ware. So stay tuned till the end of the video and let us know in the comment section how you like this content. Sanitary ware are like the biggest form of ceramic and in terms of the shape and the sizes, they are mostly weirdly made uh, in terms of, of the regular decorative uh, pieces and those kind of thing uh, we can uh, uh, skip that part but in regular applications the sanitary ware is the most complex uh, ceramic product to manufacture uh, however the raw material used for the manufacturing of uh, sanitary wares are very similar to the ceramic tile in addition to some component in terms of the glaze because the whiteness is the main factor of the sanitary ware and it is like the most popular color in uh, uh, this kind of items and in tiles it's like much varieties of colors and surface applications but in sanitary wear the glossy one and especially the pure white uh, is most essential sanitary wear to produce so uh, the main three uh, raw material which goes into the production of the sanitary wear are the china clay or ball clay uh, they are also known as the kaolin clay our boil clay is slightly different. They have a similar chemical composition, but they have more plasticity in it. And uh, they are used in specific amount in terms of the mixture of the raw material. The second uh, key component is the feldspar. Feldspar is like a fluxing material and uh, it mixes all the raw material together. And uh, we will let, let you know about the application of the feldspar in the later part of this video. The third main component is the quartz. Uh, quartz is a, also the third uh, natural ingredient which is used for the manufacturing of the sanitary ware. Uh, it has a similar role than the feldspar and uh, uh, it is used in a certain amount to obtain that uh, fluxing of all the material and as a binding, binding of all the material together. So in terms of the clay, the china clay, uh, kaolin clay and wall clay, all of them are like a plastic uh, material. So what we mean by plastic material is like when it goes to a certain level of temperature, uh, it is uh, uh, showing a physical deformation and you can mold them or shape them and uh, it can hold uh, that shape when it is pulled down to a certain uh, normal room temperature. Another uh, raw material which we discuss is the feldspar. So feldspar is a flux fluxing agent and uh, the purpose of using the feldspar is like the regular china clay or the kaolin clay or the ball clay they have a melting temperature of 1500 degrees or even more in terms of the celsius however when you mix those raw material together and along with the feldspar feldspar bring that temperature to 1200 or 1250 or even in some application like uh, 1100 or 1050 degrees celsius so feldspar is very important in the production of the sanitary ware uh, the third one is the quartz. Quartz has a similar role as the feldspar, but it has a different property and uh, it is uh, also making the body more whiter. So it is essential for the production uh, in terms of the white sanitary wear production. The other uh, uh, small raw material which are used in the production of the uh, sanitary wear are uh, the fillers, the binders, uh, also the specific uh, uh, raw materials which goes into the production of the glaze of the water closet or the wash basins. Uh, they are zinc oxides and there is a barium carbonate. Uh, both of those are used along with the feldspar and the clay and the combination is made of the pure uh, uh, percentage and it is used for the glazing purpose and to produce the glaze for the uh, water closets and the wash basins. So this is like a typical ball clay. Uh, you can see it is in the uh, solid form or in the lump form. Uh, the feldspar is we have in a smaller granules, but it can also come in bigger lumps as well as the small powder form. And this is the quartz one. 
so quartz normally comes in the solid form so all of this raw material needs to uh, break down and they need to be mixed into a mixture and for that purpose ball mills are used around the world and uh, in the different sanitary ware manufacturing units and uh, in ball mill basically they uh, break down this uh, lumps and they convert it into the smaller pieces and they mix it into a mixture for the production of the sanitary ware so uh, the entire process of production of a sanitary ware can be covered in a, another video and if you want to see uh, that video or more such videos on the sanitary wear and all the industry related news on the toilets, on the wash basins and uh, special interviews with the designers around the world then you can feel free to subscribe to the channel and uh, uh, let us know uh, what new videos you want us to make in the comment section. Thank you for watching and see you next time.